What is this wooden carriage type thing with wheels? Very overgrown. So hard to get good picks. It's been there for at least 10 years, but I imagine it's quite a lot older. Hard to see details, but if you zoom in you can make out several features. There appears to be a wheel with a belt, not sure what function it performs. There is also what looks like a hand crank, but again I'm not sure. The buckle thing that's hanging down is just part of the cover, not the actual thing itself. Any idea what it is? Hard to tell, but I guess an old wooden thresher. It would probably be driven by a stationary engine or old tractor via a large belt. Used to separate the grain from the straw at harvest. I found this in a bathroom stall in a hospital. Made of metal, it folds down and when released springs back up. It has a slight curve to it. There is another one in the other stall. It's outside of the cancer department if that means anything. What is it? It's a pull-down utility shelf. The spring-loaded design folds the shelf when not in use, but can be held down with the weight of a cell phone. Self-clearing? It makes it impossible for the user to forget his belongings. What is this hollow metal container? Removable cap with sharp needle inside. Possible oil or lighter fluid container. These are roughly about 2.5 inches in length. They were found while cleaning out old items among electrician items and woodworking items, so may be related to either field. I have no idea of the origin other than it was found among a relative's possessions. I would guess that the age is 40s to 60s. They are made of metal. What is it? It's an 1897 fishing real metal oil can oiler. The pointy bit is for putting a tiny drop of oil in a very precise location on the machine. Watchmakers use a similar set of tools. My mom had this exact thing in her sewing box. She bought it like that from a fabric store. Maybe from the late 1950s or early 1960s. What is this white ceramic disc, shaped like a sombrero? About 5 inches wide with concentric ridges. Hole on top that is notched like a bow tie, as if something attaches to it. It was mailed to our house in its own package. It weighs about a pound. The lighter is for scale. It's a ceramic insulator for high voltage power lines. Porcelain suspension insulators have good chemical and thermal stability, almost no aging deterioration, and good electrical and mechanical properties. What are these metal rods with hinges in the center and hooks on the ends? There are also what appear to be tension feet. They're about 6 inches long, I thought for curtains, but the hinges in the middle don't make sense for that. Also the hooks on the end. It appears to be a garland holder for a door frame. They fit in your door frame without marking up or damaging the wood. The pad fits on the door frame, the hinges are to break the tension, and those tiny round thingies pull out the adjusting pins. That twisted cord thing could be a power hookup for lights the previous owner rigged. What is this square item with a flashing green light? Hidden in the bathroom vent. It seems to be connected to a thick wire. I can't get great access since it's above my bathtub. And it is high up. Just moved into a new apartment and noticed the green light flashing while taking my shower. It's light colored and seems to have a frosted plastic circle on the front. It's still flashing now from the vent. It's a motion sensor to turn on automatically the vent fan. It automatically activates when someone enters the room, making it ideal for people with disabilities and assisted living environments, such as nursing homes and retirement communities. What is this 25 centimeters in height, 3 centimeters in diameter, around 100 grams, gray, made of plastic, and nothing is written on, and nothing moves, totally rigid with a round handguard, which was found in an old kitchen in Tuscany, Italy. It doesn't look like it is a really old item, it has some sort of plastic blade on the top, but is not sharp, any ideas? It's a Thermomix spatula. It is made from high-grade, food-quality polypropylene that is safe to use, because it does not leach into your food. It is also dishwasher safe and best cleaned on the top rack. What is this long cylindrical wooden item with an iron-looking tip in a corkscrew shape, and bronze-looking parts with flower designs along the shaft? Some bronze parts can rotate and slide up and down. A flat bronze end can be removed. Nothing is written on it. 124 centimeters in length. 
thicker than a flute, and 2 to 2.5 kilograms. This belonged to someone from Belgium who spent time in Peru, Colombia, Mexico, Mozambique, Sweden, Israel, and New York, so these are possible origins. It would have been acquired sometime between 1945 and 1980. I am not sure what the function of the item is. It's a rare 1700 silver and wood vara, or Bastin de Mando, a Peruvian native governor's badge of office. Each Native American group in Peru had a ceremonial representative or governor in the national government known as a Varioc, and his badge of office was a large embellished wooden staff like this one, originally intended to hammer or drill into the ground in front of his dwelling, to show the natives to whom they should go for any civil matters. What are these hollow wooden tubes with metal rings at one end? I did look up what appears to be the text or word Tramaco, but it didn't turn up anything that would indicate what these could be. Any ideas? Those are vintage wood roving thread bobbins, made into a bobbin scope kaleidoscope. It is made from an original roving bobbin once used in an American cotton mill. What is this metal rod about 5 inches with two paddles at the end? If you twist the rod it will open and close the paddles or wings. Probably should not have called it rod but a metal tube, threaded at one end. I think it had a manufacturer name but rubbed off, and the only thing I can read is Bliss Idaho clearly. It's a vintage 1970s Dotson and Evans Cab Master Cabochon Cutting Clamp. They're commonly used for grinding, sanding, and polishing cabochons. This thing is made of metal, movement action like pliers, and has a large opening before the long nose parts which meet perfectly. About 9 inches overall in length, made of aluminum I think. The large hole or opening before the jaws throws me off. Also, the jaws are perfectly smooth without providing much grip. If it was to be used like pliers, what is it used for? Those are rivet tongs used for placing hot rivets in steel structures. They are commonly used by smiths and glass blowers. I have a few pairs and a few sizes. Even though they are called rivet tongs, and were used for rivets, they have a wide variety of uses, and come in a lot of sizes for detail work. Jewelers use them as well. What is this thing made of copper or brass? Include some tongs and a brush. It has WFB, stamped on the bottom. Any ideas? Those are vintage 1930s fire tools. A set of tools usually of steel or brass for maintaining fire and cleaning a fireplace. The set will usually consist of three or four items, sometimes on a matching vertical stand, comprising a shovel, tongs, poker, and sometimes a brush. What is this cast iron horse found in the attic of the house? Not sure what it is or what it was used for. Looks like a buckle or letter opener. The center can pivot, but doesn't freely pivot due to the center pin. The only markings that can be found are on the back near the bottom. It has 1875, though only visible in the right light. Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.